Alright, time for some more Earthbound. Get your fan for a bunch of shit. Insignificant um, broken shit. And these guys don't have so anything worth buying, right? Well, I guess they do. Yes, I don't think I can fix that broken machine yet. Maybe I can. I gotta check the intelligence chart and see. Let's start making our way back towards. Slime generators. Flies. The no good fly. Well, let's see if he has any steel. Oh, tall with the fucking crit. Like, I don't like flies. I feel you, pal. I feel you. Dog. Still curious to see if any of these guys have anything worth stealing off. <laughs> Probably a chart I could find that tells me what enemies have what, but meh.
Nice. How many hits did you get? Uh, opening attack. Maybe this urban zombie has something. Sandwich DX. Just slightly less useless than a regular skip sandwich. <laughs> I love the enemies in this game, like they're they're just so random in their design, you know, from like the way they look to like the moves they use. Part of what makes this game so memorable. Copper bracelet. Save some money back. Wanna see my money? Oh. Oh, ice not effective. Normal fire. the worst sky ass effect he can get. I mean, it's not too bad for fucking Paula and Ness, but damn it, does it suck for fucking this dude. She has some poo once we get poo. Nice. Let's gain some levels. Oh baby. Oh baby, I oh, gain another level. Oh. Well screw you, that's my fly, honey. Saturn Valley is right ahead. Nice. Very convenient. Magic butterfly to top off our PP before heading forward. 
Armored Frog and the Farms on it. No, four enemies at once. Time to break out some PSI rock thing. Sandwich. It does last quite a while, doesn't it? I don't know what it was about old school RPGs and not wanting to give you a dash on the world map. <laughs> I mean, not every game refused to give you a dash, man. I can think of more than a couple. Well, like Final Fantasy, for instance, you didn't really get a dash till 5, or if you're living here in the States, till 6. You got spit shoes. I remember I was such a so amazing after playing like so much Final Fantasy IV and like going to six and like, what well, I can equip this item and I can run faster? Hell yeah! Sounds wrong, does it? She's having pee pay. Uh oh. Uh oh, Jeff is getting a little low on health. Okay, they're all a little bit green around the go. I need to heal these guys up. for that guy. up there yet. We need to go back here. Oh, that was close. That could have easily been a sneak attack for them. They're still really low on health. <coughs> Jeez. Got that crocodile before you one shot to everybody. Nice. 
Where do you go now? Better heal up a little bit. Oh no, it's a cockroach! A violent cockroach of all things. Here we come. Oh, I have a question. One of the oddest places in the game. That's really say something about this game. Mr. Sun Rally, everything is basically free when it comes to healing, which is pretty sweet. Why don't you just give it to me now, bro? How ridiculous their ATM machine is, too. Right, now I want to talk to you. Cause you got some stuff on me. Slingshot. Oh, I hate the slingshots and the yo yo's. My god. So rough. <sighs> or 
they don't even give you an option to sort, which is kind of frustrating. I mean, at least let me sort out my shenanigans, not manually. Just enough to get all the equipment we need for the next part. <sighs> and then, of course, now her. <laughs> This is getting a little ridiculous. I gotta get rid of some shit here. So a copper bracelet, yes. Get rid of that travel charm for sure. I have two slime generators, so you don't really think I sell this one? Yes. Yes. Still need to buy that ribbon. Be all good to go to take on Mr. Barf. Mm -hmm. right, one of these guys will tell us to go stand at the waterfall for like three minutes. It's so crazy. Like we really want you to sit still for that amount of time. Alright. And I believe there is one more thing to grab over here. <sighs> Useless piece of crap. <laughs> nice. For the most part, nothing too useful. Those protractors are complete garbage. In fact, I'm not even gonna bother to sell these more anymore that much. I'm just gonna toss it away. Oh no, not a rock cockroach again. <laughs> Some of these attacks, like, are odor based. It's crazy. There are foul stench that brings tears to your eyes or lowers your defense or, you know. Various other status effects. 
me. Ah! Zombies. So far, these slingshots aren't working out too bad, but I just know, like, they're gonna miss like crazy when, like, I really need them to be landing hits. <sighs> Screw you guys. In my eye. In, talk to this guy and just say nothing. Like now you literally just wait for fucking three minutes till like the dude decides to respond, yeah. Oh so just sit back and relax for a second. While we wait for this dude to let us in. I can't believe they actually want you to wait like three minutes exactly. Should have called my pizza. Mmm, pizza. So delicious. <laughs> oh, why we're reading on yourself? Look up and see. I think it just it's right where you get Jeff. See what it has to say about on the intelligence chart of when he can fix stuff. Right, there it is. Can you the pipe for a while? Should probably do the air gun pretty quick. So maybe just the air gun. I swear those rocks just like the one on top there. Um, well, I'm pointing at the screen because you. But the one at the very center of the waterfall on top there, they to those rocks always remind me of ducks. And I can't be the only one who, who looks at that and sees a fucking duck. Oh man. Three minutes of this. I forgot how kind of rough this actually was. Oh, give me a break. This does kind of make you appreciate how far we've come with uh, making water look more realistic. Okay, there we go. Dang. Oh no! A bunch of tomatoes. Be 
these guys are actually one of the best uh, enemies to level up on. Uh, you can definitely do some uh, good grinding right here. Got 1,300 experience, everybody. Not bad at all. Sick of efficiency. Eh? And we'll probably do a little bit of grinding before we take on Barf because. Is it Barf? Or Belch, I'm sorry, but I don't want to keep on saying Barf when it's Belch. Thinking of uh, Space Balls. Enjoy candy. Oh man, I, I kind of do want to see another Spaceball movie, you know, now if they're making new Star Wars. I mean, I don't know. That anime series they tried doing was very fucking rough. But, I do love Mel Brooks and I... Uh, at least give it a chance. The bone. Screw you, tomato guys. Stop, who's the beat? Yeah. What the shit? Look at the flappers. Alright. Alright. Yeah, these guys are just so easy to take to, huh? And there's a room later with a magic butterfly that keeps spawning, so. Just so easy, just to spam the shit out of these guys. Oh, come on! <laughs> Didn't work out too well for them, any regardless. So. Oh no, a bunch of zombies. Nice. I keep killing all my buddies. I'm just gonna laugh about it. Because I'm a zombie. You can see they're holding some Mr. Saturn's hostage to make their Ugh. God awful fly, honey. Uh, I hate these guys because they like, make you nauseous. Or make you start crying, which is equally terrible. 
Yeah. Oh, speaking of things making me nauseous, I might have to stock up on a few more items before we fight the boss. We'll see. I think it'll be fine. Again, sling shots. I think I missed something up top. I think I'm going to backtrack a little bit, but that's fine. Mostly bad fly. Yeah, most of these dungeons aren't that long. They get a little bit longer as you go forward, but for the most part, they're pretty straightforward. Background looks a little bit nauseating. <laughs> kind of what you imagine what the inside of an upset stomach might look like. Oh, come on! You got me from behind! <laughs> oh, jeez. Just to be on the safe side, this freaking dude's almost dead. Let's see if this guy actually has anything. Extremely vulnerable, but no, uh, not carrying any goods on him. Come on! I hate the crying effect. I hate having to constantly sit there and watch them miss. It's a gimme of wreck. Thank you. Kinda <laughs> oh, silly. Nice. Oh, Jeff got up to Valor quick. Come 
I'm on get it together, Paula. Oh, come on with the crying canarians. It hasn't been too bad so far. It's just fucking annoying. Yeah, it's kind of like that. <laughs> A bitch. Do too much shit. That HP sucker is handy, for sure. <laughs> All but one of them. That's fine, at least I get to show you HP sucker. Very handy. Look at all these guys just waiting for me to come down. Every time. Give me a break. Get together, guys. Come on. At this point, they should at least give you a fucking item that, like, like at least one item, right? That, like, prevents you from fucking one guy from being affected by that contract. But no, they decide they just make it annoying. <laughs> Screw you, man. I guess I do need the levels before fighting. Master Bench. I'm just tired of fighting these stupid guys. Fucking. Let's up quick, shall we? We can't. And of course that didn't work. Lengthening the battle by making you miss your target like every other time. Not cute. Cool. All these encounters, I should be sufficiently on level for oh, for Mr. Birch, Master Birch. I think I went back too far. Yeah, I totally went back too far. That's fine. Yeah, 
things. There was nothing to wear. To beat the shit out of everyone in this stupid factory. something safety first guys kind of seems like they could have just given us that one I mean considering we're one-shotting those guys already we just got a level out of it nice very handy Master bitch. I swear, when you don't want the small enemies, like, it just fills the entire screen with them. When you are looking to fight some enemies, you can't fucking find them. Like, what are, you know, like, that's always how it is. Like, even when they can turn, like, a, a random battle of games, like, fucking Final Fantasy. When you're not trying to get into any battles, you can't avoid them for shit. But when you're actually trying to do a little leveling, it like takes forever for you to find a random battle. <laughs> I always thought that was really fucking weird how that worked out like that. Uh, <laughs> where's the red guy? This guy. For shit, then you might as well take these guys downtown. Alright, let's restock the point. Magic, oh come on, magic butterfly. Okay. Trips. One. Actually, since we're here, let's go. Yeah. Max everybody's health as well. I just couldn't let me buy. No interest in either of you. Hold on. Oh, you know, how many insecticide spray? Where's the insecticide spray? Ooh, that one apparently. I love how that's his opening fucking move every fucking goddamn time. Fucking artificially extend the fucking battle. I mean, that's all it really is doing. It's just artificially fucking making the battle longer by making it 
harder for you to hit them. Look, I don't like that. Like, that's not fucking... I challenge, it's just annoying. It's just annoying. But granted, like, this game is fucking amazing. So, it's very forgivable, but still. Still playing Chrono Trigger, you know, as well the other day, and... Fighting the fucking enemies, the eyeball enemies, and the fucking... Black Omen, that you can't fucking hit for fucking anything. You know, and I just, I don't like that. Like, let me fucking hit the enemy. You know, I, I get it if, like, it's like the magic jars or something from Final Fantasy where you have to, you know, do a specific thing to defeat him. But, like, when you just make them fucking, you know. No, not even, like, make them high defense or anything. You just make them fucking dodge at literally everything you throw at them. That's kind of stupid to me. I mean, I never, never got that, never been a fan of that. <sighs> so much fucking crying, like get it together, guys. And see, all this does is just make you waste more resources that you wouldn't otherwise fucking do. Look at this, like, I had my guys all completely topped off, but because of fucking two battles, now I have to fucking heal everybody back up again. Why? Not because of the difficulty of the guys, not because of the amount of HP they had, but simply because he fucking cast Cry on them. Like, that's kind of fucking stupid. Ugh. Sorry, I'm a little grumpy today, I did not sleep for shit last night. Fucking literally tossed and turned all day. Or all night. Ah, it's so annoying. So much fucking health I lost just from fighting a couple battles. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm just gonna use PSR guess. I don't have enough fucking and right before the bot suit, which pisses me off. Like, if I'm gonna go find a boss, like, I should be more than fucking... I that this boss is that... I mean, he is and he isn't. I remember the first time I fought him, I didn't know to use the fly honey, and that did fuck me up pretty hardcore. I was like, what am I doing wrong? Why can't I, uh, beat this motherfucker? Let's, uh... <sighs> open hit opens, huh? is one of the most fucked up uh, things you can do, status effects in this game. I don't think I brought anything to heal it. Damn it. No, I did. Okay, cool. Really? Like, I remember these boss battles being so much more difficult than this. And outside of that mole that we fought, like, at the second, uh, the second melody, I haven't had any problems. Look at all the levels we just gained, too. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Um, that was actually surprisingly easier than I remember. Uh, well, we made it back to Mr. Saturn Valley here. And, uh... We'll go ahead and drink the coffee. This part's really cool. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the game. Oh, you know, I've been fucking... I realized I have been wearing my headphones this entire time, so the echo must have been fucking crazy on this. God. Sorry about that. I can't hear anything. Uh, what? Sorry, I did not realize. Desert and then the city up four side. Alright. Yes, Pala, Jeff. Jeff. Coffee guys. For uh, them to experience visions. Use the hot spring to clear off all the <laughs> coke from fighting that was weird. Aw. Face through the ground there for a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and save it here and uh in the in this video right now, um, was there a phone up here? I don't think there was. Indeed, there is. Okay, cool. So, uh, next time we will tackle the next melody, and uh, and I'm start making our way to Foreside through the dusty desert. So, uh, thanks for 